Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today I come to you with another video and this one is the follow-up to the other fragrance that I reviewed and when I bought this one I had to do a special review on this fragrance. Guys, we're speaking about the fragrance from the House of Kajal and it's Dahab. Dahab, okay? Dahab. Again, we have the beautiful bottle absolutely breathtaking this is stunning so this is dahab so let's talk about dahab dahab was launched in 2015 and the nose behind this is christian carbonel and rosendo matu now rosendo matu is the the nose behind one of my absolute fragrance fragrant fragrances rosendo number number five Guys, I absolutely love that one. So he's the nose behind this and Kristen Cabanel, he did um, some work for Zizhoff, I think. Yeah, I can't remember which fragrance he did. But yeah, so those two are the nose behind this fragrance here. So let me give you some of the notes. So this has, to the top notes, it has Granny Smith apples. It has bergamot. So it has that bite like the green like a little tartness of it it has the bergamot it has passion fruit it has cedar coriander musk amber and patchouli so those are the notes for this fragrance this, to me it's very tropical it's such a creamy smooth fragrance it's very you get that crisp apple and stuff to the top but then it comes down with you get the let me spray this again hold on so I can refresh my memory. You see the atomizer? Ooh, oh my goodness, yes. You get that green apple, you get the, and the passion fruit. I pick up the passion fruit a lot. You get a little bit of coriander, but it's not very strong. But the base dries down to a nice, creamy, ambery, sweet, sweet, dry down this is a very fruity sweet fragrance and it has a little patchouli there i think every time you see patchouli to the end it's like okay the patchouli is what makes this stand up it, it gives it a little structure it gives it a little more longevity patchouli is one of those uh, notes that does these things guys oh my goodness this is so so beautiful this is stunning and guys i have i did a review on um Lamar I absolutely love Lamar and I wanted to get this one and I'm jibbing I'm like I can't find it anywhere in Canada to buy so I saw my girl um Lisa DD Diva on YouTube here Lisa said I, I messaged her and she, she she bought it and she's like girl I said where, where where can I find this she said a lucky scent I'm like not lucky scent Max Aroma and I'm like oh my goodness I've never ordered from Max Aroma before and I don't know what's going to happen so she's like try them she said so i went to max aroma and she was so sweet she said guess what i just got a coupon from them for 20 percent off well as soon as she gave it to me which was so sweet of you thank you so much lisa she gave me the coupon and i rushed and i ordered this now i had to pay shipping but because i got 20 percent off it kind of even out stuff you know so i'm so so happy i got this thank you lisa for the coupon so yes back to regularly scheduled uh this program <laughs> so yeah so this is very fruity it's floral it has that ambery sweetness to the base guys this is a very very sweet fragrance to me it has beautiful sillage beautiful longevity but you know what i wore this a few times that freshness that bergamot very prominent but i wear this a few times and the dry down of this not the beginning because the beginning of this is very fruity and floral and fresh but the dry down of this i have something else sprayed here and i'm trying to compare it when i'm wearing this fragrance i kept forgetting what i'm wearing and i'm thinking i'm wearing casablanca it's not a dupe okay don't come for me it's not a dupe but the dry down reminds me of casablanca i don't know what it is but it has Casablanca vibes, but the hub is more fresh. This is more fresh and vibrant and fruity. Probably it's the sweetness from um, Casablanca that's making me think it reminds me of it because I have Casablanca here. 
and I have the no they're different no they're different for real now that I have them side by side it's totally different this is very fresh and fruity with the ambery touches to it this one is more sweet and syrupy and no but there's something about um what do you call this casablanca that reminds me of this when i was wearing it i don't know if it's a dry down i don't know it has some similarities but not the same now that i have them side by side it's totally not the same guys the hub is absolutely gorgeous i am so so happy i added this to my collection it was worth every penny and it was a blind buy of course but she's beautiful she's stunning she's creamy like when i say creamy it's like that sweetness and that amberiness it's there it's like lingering around but okay like you have this all these fruits like the passion fruit and the apples and the bergamot like all these fresh citrusy things and fruity stuff and then you have the um the the musk and the amber and with the seed a little bit of woodiness all these things is just surrounding it so it's like you're getting the fruits in the middle but it's like all the, the, the ambery musky stuff is just lingering around it. So everything is just swirling and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Guys, this is Blind by Worthy. This is Signature Scent Worthy. This is totally unisex in my opinion. I don't think it's feminine at all. Guys, this was a really, really good blind buy. I am so happy to have this little lady in my collection. So now, because I have two winners from um, Kajal, I'm thinking, oh my God, what next? What do I want to try? I want to try more, but I'm scared because it's not cheap, okay? So, but eventually, probably if I'll find, I'll see if I can get samples to test them out. But guys, I am absolutely in love with Dahab, okay? So she... Dahab and Lamar, mm, perfect, perfect. Guys, you need both, okay? You need both. And I'm not just saying that. She is royal. She is stunning. So guys, get your nose on Dahab. This is all I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, on Dahab. I hope you enjoyed my little review. And uh, please, really do get your nose on this. And they sell it at Lucky, um, not Lucky, I'm saying Lucky Scent, at Max Aroma. I don't know anywhere else that sells this. In Canada, um what's it called niche essence sells it and somebody else but they were sold out and i don't know when they're getting it back so i had to ship this from the states thank goodness i didn't pay duties i was scared i was so scared i'm like oh my god no duties because that's why i don't really like shopping from lucky sense because they charge you duties in front like their duties are ridiculous lucky sense you need to do better than that okay anyway max aroma but check it out. And no, I don't, these people don't know me. I'm not being sponsored. I just bought it. That's the first thing I ever ordered from Max Aroma. So guys, until next video, be safe, be kind, and smell fabulous. Bye now.